It was 16 years ago this weekend basketball magic happened here in Los Angeles in one of the great performances of all time. Kobe Bryant took over then Staples Center, scoring an incredible 81 points against Toronto. Today, today we look back at that legendary moment in downtown Los Angeles through the eyes and memories of two people who had an up close and personal view at basketball history. Former Laker great Luke Walton and play by play announcer Bill McDonald. Legendary Moments, sponsored by the law offices of Jacob M. Ronnie. Here it is. It's kind of a nondescript Sunday afternoon. The Lakers aren't going anywhere that year. Kobe's having an unreal season, but the Lakers aren't going to do much. Guns it to man, little back there. Kobe scores on the slam. And it wasn't much of a game. It wasn't much of a game in the first half. Lakers weren't doing anything. They were way down. Uh, you know, Kobe was having a decent game. I remember he... <laughs> He was mad and he came in at halftime yelling because we were playing like trash. And uh, like he did, you know, he would take over games until there was, you know, moments that the rest of us were ready to to, to step our game up again. Just yo-yo on the dribble and stop from the top of the key. Well, Kobe's got his stroke. Then stuff started happening in the second half and Stu and I started looking at each other. James has 22 on the night. Knocked away by Kobe. Great hustle by Kobe. He's going to score. And dunk Lakers lead. <laughs> well, that's 51 for number eight. During the game, I didn't really, I didn't know what was happening. And he started taking over that game. And it just felt like he was scoring like every play. But you can imagine everybody just kind of getting it, kind of texting each other, calling each other, saying, you got to see what's going on right now. So we felt it. You're kind of getting lost in the competition of the game. So you, at least me, I still didn't realize it. And then I'm sitting there on the bench, and I looked up, and I saw like 70-something. I thought the screen was broken. Five. For three again. Yes! <laughs> well, there's 70. You know, the score is like, there's no way he's got 70-something. So we start talking on the bench a little bit. We're like, there's no way he's doing this right now. We knew something special was, was going on. And, you know, he got to 50, and then 60, and then he had the Laker record. And then, oh my gosh, he might get to 80. Right for 80. It really wasn't until the game was over and I got that final stat sheet and saw the 81 in there that I had realized what he had just done. This would be 18 for 20 from the line and an 81 point game. I went home and I always recorded the games so that when I got home, no matter what, I could watch it over again, kind of from a learning standpoint. And that one, I just, I remember cracking a beer and, and it was just straight, like, let's sit here and watch what just happened. Uh, and and I, I just rewatched the whole game that night at my house and it was unbelievable. Kobe provided us with so many incredible moments. It was just magical mamba.